Hey guys, welcome back to episode 7 of uh, my Derby Dreams career mode on FIFA 19. In the last episode, we ended it on a, I want to say a high note, because personally I did feel like it was a good episode. Um, I think I got two wins, didn't I? And a draw, so I'm, I'm unbeaten. And we've got, I think, probably one of the most pivotal matches in this episode, which I'll talk more about in a second. Um, you're probably all wondering why I'm on Eco Castellis' uh, transfer thing here in a minute. That is because I was watching Sky Sports News last night, and because um, obviously it's still the January transfer window, I actually recorded the other episode yesterday. I just can't stop playing FIFA at the minute. Um, it popped up on the bottom that Leeds are interested in signing him, and it got me thinking, hmm, he's quite a used, well, he used to be a good keeper. I don't know if he is now, I'm assuming he still is. Or it might just be his name, like, is one whose name means a lot rather than he might have gone down a bit hill, nothing in the wrong way. Um, but I was thinking, again, he could be another keeper like what I've done with Rashley Cole. If I buy him and he retires with Derby, and then I've got myself a perfectly good regen. And I was just looking at his stats. 82 overall, but he's literally dirt cheap. 1.3 million and only on 8,700 a week. So I reckon I'm. No! I didn't, I didn't click on that. I didn't see that. Well, that's gone out the window. Oh well. Right. I'll have to make a note of that when I edit this video to come back and have a look at Cassidy's uh, regen, see if I can find him. The other thing that I've been doing is I've gone through a few strikers because I'm thinking with. Um, we're selling Nugent, Nugent. Yeah, I was going to say Newhorn and I'm looking at Marty Wagon. We're selling Nugent in the January transfer window. I'm going to need a new striker, I think, for this team. Obviously, I've got Bennett still and Waghorn, but I want to use Waghorn as my substitute for both squads. Um, and although I like Bennett, he doesn't seem to be growing as much. As I, I need him to, because I did, I need him to start hitting the 70 mark pretty soon. Um, so obviously if I'm pushing up into the uh, Champions League, Champions League, the Premier League, obviously I know a lot of these players are only 60 odd rated, but they have really high potential, so they're, they're, they're promising players. Whereas um, Bennett, he's not really growing as much as I want him to. I need him to start hit, hitting that mark so I can use them, otherwise I'm going to have to, uh, but I'm stuttering, why am I stuttering? I've worked years to get rid of this stutter, why is it coming back now? Urgh. Yeah, I need to um, build this, start strengthening this squad up. And I was also thinking as well, I'm going to swap Junior with McCarran, try playing McCarran, I know he's a midfielder, but I was thinking of using him on the right wing, and then having two cams, is Meyer a cam? I'm sure Meyer is a cam. Yeah. Having two cams on the middle just to help Waghorn or probably even Bennett build up a bit more. Um, it's just something I want to try and I still need to find a replacement for Pierce because although he, he played well in the last couple of games, obviously again 69 rated and he's 30 so he's going to be dropping uh, point, uh, what's it called? attributes overall soon, isn't he? So I need to. Oh, I didn't save that crap. I need to uh, replace him. And then there's still the debate about Keo. So obviously Keo's Keo, isn't he? He's uh, pretty much Derby through and through at the minute. Um, so I'd, I've been thinking as well, I don't want to sell him. I want to try and keep his regen, because I imagine his regen's going to be really good. I mean, just look at his uh, tray, trites, trayats, trayats? Yeah, he's a solid player, dives into tackles, he's leadership, and he's got team player. So. You get a regen with that, that's going to be really good. So that's the plan. Oh, I've gone cold all of a sudden. I'm going to have to go get my hoodie in a minute. I've got the window open downstairs so the cats can come in. They're being a pain in the arse. Um, and I'm thinking. No, I'm not going to change anything with that squad. Um, so I'm going to have. I'm happy with that. And we're going to play this pivotal game. Who are we playing today, actually? Or this episode. So we've got, what? Villa, Sheffield United. Uh, no, Sheffield Wednesday, sorry. And Stoke. Is that away? 
it is away, isn't it? Yeah. So we're going to be playing Gary Rowett, who, ironically, has been sacked. Stoke have um, sacked him now because they're doing poorly in the championship. Whoop, see? And then we've got some good games, the big one, in December. And then it's in the transfer window. And... <sighs> that game last night, terrible. Anyway, yeah, sorry, I'm just thinking now of our games in real life. So anyway, yeah, actually, I want to just have a look at one thing. Uh, where can you change the weather? Uh, if you had options... Where? Where? You can't change it, can you? That's boo. Sets the speed of the gameplay to suit your needs. I think I'm gonna change borders. What was that? Is that a classic silver? Yeah, it is. I remember playing with them at school. Uh, I want to play with a fancy ball. I think. Should we play with the old uh, classic orange? Uh, the leather ball. EA Sports Red. Uh, oh, that was random. You know what? Let's have some fun. Let's play with the random, a random ball. Okay, it'll just make the games that little more interesting. Unless I play with like a white ball when it snows. No, in my look, that's probably what's going to happen. Right, anyway, we're going to jump into this game against Aston Villa. Playing the white... And the purple, yep. Uh, I want to play with the first squad because I need the strong squad because I need to win this game or draw it. Ideally, I want to win it. And I'll see you guys at the end. Oh, it's lagging again. No. Damn it, that's my fault. Crap. I don't know why, but I don't know if it was me that's lagging or the game that's lagging. I was just struggling then to focus it like I, I was zoned out or something I could see it go it's like I had an out-of-body experience I could see what I need to do but I just couldn't do it and then I was controlling Tom Lawrence then as well but I brought him out the wrong way crap not good oh yes Lawrence shoot Lawrence Go, Lawrence! Lovely! What? I can't hear you. Can you hear the villa sing? I can't hear an effing thing. That was a lovely um, uh, goal, that was. Look at that. I'm sure that's an assist by uh, Dragowski as well, wasn't it? Straight from his goal kick. I like that goal kick that I'm doing. Well, I'm telling everyone to like call players further up the pitch and then just hoofing the ball all the way up. It seems to be better than when you do like a normal goal kick and you always seem to lose possession this seems to be working oh, thank god for that I managed to put a goal back ooh right okay so I'm going to try it sod it so who am I Bryson that would do okay I see you Bryson so if we go there okay I, didn't, I still need to practice that up to Maury Gellert. Oh, How's he managed to break through then? Damn it. How did he manage to break through that? Fair enough. That was a lovely counter by Villa, that was. But that cross. He managed to pull in front of Nelson. And Dragowski couldn't get it. Good goal, I'll give them that. Okay, guys, so I lost that one 2 1. Um, that first goal that they scored, that was my fault. I kind of just like zoned out for that. So I take full responsibility for that goal. Otherwise, it would have been a draw more than likely. But to be fair, pardon me, Villa were a good team. They completely outplayed. Um, sorry, I can't decide if I've got a hiccup or a burp coming. 
I don't think it's Diva, I think it's a Yawn. Wow. Okay. Uh, yeah, they completely outplayed me in that game, um, unfortunately. So now they've moved six points clear of us and are now drawing with Stoke. Okay, plays Lee Money National, Keo, Wilson, Lawrence, and Leslie. That's fine. Okay. So, unfortunately, it, I am a little sad because it was our chance to. There we go, we've got some scout reports. Uh, transfer off for Butterfield. Um, I'm going to. That's it, 850. I'm going to see if I can negotiate a better offer. I'd rather. Malaga wants to buy him, okay. I'd rather have, like, um, see if I can get a sell on clause, Adam, or whatever it is. Mm. Proposed new transfer fee. So I'm going to see if I can get a million for him. I know it's pushing the ball out quite a bit. Um, and then if I had a sell on clause of 5%, let's see what they say to that. I bet they walks out. Okay. Uh, I want to see if I can at least get his value then. Uh, you know what? Fine. I want him off the books anyway, so we'll accept that. Okay, so that's going to go through. So I can delete that. And then Ben Chilliwell. Let's have a look at Ben Chilliwell. Left back, 78. Quite expensive though, isn't he? Showing great potential though, so I'm gonna, again I'm going to shortlist. I need to go through my shortlist and like clear it or or plays out and stuff. So I, I'm probably going to do that off camera at some point. Uh, again, come on, Benny, I need you to start growing. Maybe if I change, you know what? No, I want to focus on his shot power because I want him to be that really strong striker. But, hey, finally he's gone up to seventy. Bogle's gone up as well. Nice. I want him to be that clinical striker if I can keep him going. That's what I'm aiming for with Bennett. You know that one person who just shoots and he's, he's got so much power on his shot, it just goes in. That's what I want with him. And then also, oh, wow, look at the... Um, right, we've got, stop, 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 stop. I've got, I got training to do. Look at the table, man. That is really close between us, QPR and Chef United. That's really close. Uh, simulate. Interesting. Right. What are our emails? Final score on Nicholas Adarigan, or have you said that name? Striker 61. Is he? No. Okay. I thought he might be showing like good potential or something, so we'll get rid of you. Uh, Nelson Oliveira. What's he? 27. Good shot power. Mm, nice green, so we'll shortlist him. Oh, it's cool. Yeah, I was looking at Andy Carroll as well. Just because I was watching the old um, West Ham and Arsenal game today at the pub. And I, and I was just thinking, hmm, Andy Carroll's not a bad player, to be honest. So I might go for him. Uh, oh, man, I'm freezing. I do apologise if you can hear me shivering. Uh, Rian or Ryan Brewster is just one that I was looking uh, for like the future, so I'm going to shortlist him because I know he has the potential to be a good striker. I think uh, Marty Waghorn, no problem. You scared the crap out of me then. Yes, you did. So guys, one of my cats come in and I didn't hear him come in. You did right. So Maya wants to play, so I'm going to play with the second squad then. That's fine since he wants to play. Yeah, I can play. Uh, yeah, sorry, I'm looking at Sheffield United. I always get confused between them both. But yeah, I can play him. Right, I'm going to play him a white, and I'm going to play them in the dark blue. Uh, Ghost, come here. Go on, Mum. Uh, yep, yeah, let's see how that goes, and I'll see you guys at the end of this game. Oh, well done, Keo. That's a lovely bod. Ah, oh, he's missed it, but he's recovered it. Lovely McCarran. Right, what can you do? 
Where's he going? Oh, what a goal! I thought that was going to go wide. Sorry, can you have my chair squeaking? My leg's gone to sleep. Where's he running to? He's running around the goals. I thought that was going to go wide, so I, I didn't do anything. But I was impressed by what I'd done then. I don't know what I'd done. I think... What? I'm baffled. So I thought I knocked it on too hard. And then... Just watch this. There. I saw... What? Each... I don't even know what I've done. I knocked it forward with my right foot, and then he seems to scoop it with his... No, sorry, I knocked it forward with my left foot, and he sort of runs after it, but then scoops it with his right foot, and then shoots with his left. That was a perfect goal, that was. I loved it. I don't even know what I've done. Oh, McCarran's broke through. He wants a second goal. Oh, but I can see Wycorn running and Chong. He's gone to Chong. Chong shoot. Oh, I've hit the crossbar. No! Damn it! Oh, damn it. Right, if I pass two to Junior. Junior with the goal! Lovely. He's, where's he going? What's. Okay, we're not doing a celebration. That was a lovely goal. Forsyth fell over. Chong throws it to Junior, and Junior just first time kicks that. There's a bit of curl on that as well. Some swerve. Look at it. It just swerves into the back of the net. Beautiful. God damn it. Get rid of it. Will you stop kicking it to the feet? Good Lord. Please just get rid of it. No! Damn it! <sighs> I saw that coming. I, 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 it would be Sam Winner as well, ex Derby player or Loney. Uh, they would have scored, wouldn't they? I just couldn't get rid of that ball. It just didn't want to leave the area. So frustrating. Literally, every time I tried to clear it, it just ended up coming back to their feet. And then look at that turn as well. Lovely goal. Look at that. Bloody Keo throwing his arse at it and everything. But fair enough. Uh, okay, guys. So, I won that one 2-1. The only thing is... Damn, they outplayed us as well. But oh, well, I won. Um, I think... Where are you? Yeah, Sheffield United won. So, they're um, still three points. I oh, know they'll be level with us, wouldn't they? And I think they actually might be ahead of us. No. We must just had that little bit better goal difference. Let's just have a look. Um, I know Villa haven't played their game yet. Damn it. Hopefully Villa will lose this their next game. And what's the goal difference between us? Goals for... Oh, there's one goal difference. No, there's not. There's... Um, two, three. Three goal difference. Well... Would you say three or two? I can't remember how it is. I think we'll... I'll just say two for easier sake. And then, where are QPR? I don't need to worry about QPR, really, unless they win their next game. Uh, but either way, the goal difference for us is better there on even. Um, but bloody Stoke City. Look at that. They scored 33 goals. Damn, and they've only conceded 15. Villa have only conceded 12. At least I could say one of mine's a got one of theirs. Um, I don't think we're going to finish. Well, it's still early days. We might still make it to first. But I think I'm going to try and fight for second position now. Right, let's work on this. No, Oh, Junior's gone up. Nice one, Junior. Uh, I thought Bennett had gone up to 70. Why is he at uh, um, 60 whatever? Why is my... I thought it dropped down to 55 then. I'm going to motivate Derby because that seems to work well in my Notts County career mode. Uh, you're welcome, fella. Right, I don't know if this next game is a cup game or a cha or a um, championship game. They, they're on about it being a cup game next, but I'm guessing it's championship. Transfer off for Ruse. I'm just going to go ahead and accept that. I'm not going to fight or anything. I'm just going to accept it and hopefully it will go through. So we'll delete that. Uh, right, so we advance. 
Here we go, final scouting report on Andy Carroll. Let's have a look. Wow, oh, that's not too bad. That's not, that's actually quite cheap. Nice strength, obviously top notch heading accuracy, aggression, jumping, shot power. I'm going to shortlist, he's at Monaco lot. <laughs> I'm going to shortlist him uh, just because obviously if I can make it into the Premier League this season then he might be an interesting one to buy for the Premier League right okay so playing the blue and they play in their red I'm going to play the fir the, yeah I better play this team because they're all knackered uh, it's cold outside right play match Oh, boo, boo, boo. Oh my God. What a goal. Jesus Christ. Where's he going? That was a good goal, literally. Look at that. I'll give them that. That was a cracker of a goal. Jeez, I'm dumbfounded. I'm just come out of nowhere. He'd proper beat Nelson then. Look at the cop, the uh, policeman, not even reacting. <laughs> what? How have they scored again? What? Right, I need to focus. That's come off Tamori, that has. No, it's come off Wisdom. Oh no, it hasn't. it's come off him. Damn it, he's literally just stuck his foot lower than Wisdom's foot and it's gone back in. How the frick do you do that? Don't you dare score from another cross. Thank you. What? Jesus Christ! What? Oh my good lord! Look at that! What the frick? That was a goal! My days! Uh, is that Nelson? You should have jumped for that. Right, come on, Wisdom. How's is that offside? Thank God for that. Ha! I thought that was offside. Right, okay guys, I lost that one 3 0. I was completely outplayed by Stoke in that game. Apparently even though I had more shots, it didn't feel like I had any shots on target. And um Oh, Villa won again, so those two are definitely running away with first and second. It looks like it might be a playoff place for me at the moment then. Um, I just couldn't do anything. Literally, my moral had completely gone in that game. After that first or second, especially the second goal, I just couldn't link anything together. It was ridiculous. Like, every pass my team was struggling to do, it was crazy. Right, so we've got some scout reports coming in there. Uh, Connor Wickham, 71. Uh, again, I'm going to I'm going to probably shortlist most of these. If I remember correctly, Connor Wickham was um, is it, it was Connor Wickham or Connor Washington? One or both of them were like it meant to be a promising player at one point, weren't they? I was just looking at this guy because I've got him as a substitute on my ultimate team, but I think he's far too much money for a January transfer. Um, Kechenya. Again, I'm just going to, he's too much money, but I'm going to shortlist him because I like him. Uh, Connor Washington. Uh, 66, no. Ideally, I want a 70 rated striker. Oh, no, but they wages, damn. Oh, Shane uh, Divacorigi, Origigi, because I would like to, but those wages, man, they're going to kill me. Naki Wells. He might be one that I might try and put enough. I know I won't be able to get him because he's on uh, loan at the minute, but he's a uh, interesting player. Once he, where was he playing for? I'm sure it was when Brentford were in League One. Didn't he play for them? 
and he was like the top goal scorer and I'm sure he, did he go to Burton? No, I don't think he did. But he was um, linked with Derby in the summer. So I'm going to keep an eye on him. This guy, I'm surprised he's still at Southampton. If it's who I'm thinking of. Didn't he have like a massive fallout with the manager or, or, or someone? And he, he didn't want to play. Uh, right, Danny Ings. I'd love to get Danny Ings. But again, those wages would kill me. Hey, look at his wages on the right. It says uh, 40,000, right? Then you click on it and it says wages, 74,000. Sweet Jesus. And then obviously Sam Winnell, who's just scored against us. Um, I might look again him because when I played with him, because obviously he was on loan at Derby last season and he was really good, like until he got injured, unfortunately. He scored some corking for goals and I really enjoy playing with him on FIFA, so I might consider getting him back. Um, Jesus, 22 is on 86,000 a week, but look at them stats, man. No way am I getting Jonathan Tarr. I'll have to delete him. And then Van Dirk, Virgil van Dijk, van Dijk. Oh, I still can't pronounce his surname, but I won't be getting him, will I? No way. Okay, so that's all the scout reports. Uh, no, we've got no training sessions. Right, hopefully we're not going to fall down the pecking order anymore. No, okay. Right, squad monthly report. Okay, that guy's looking promising. 64 to 80 still. What about you? 74 to 88, that's interesting. Uh, we'll delete that. Scouting update. There's one in here, 39 to 51. I'm sure there was one somewhere that I wanted to look at. Where are you? He's not going to be that good, is he? No. Uh, oh, I don't know where he is. We'll let them scout for another month. Okay, I am going to end this episode here in a second. Um, I just want to have another flick through the old squad report just because I'm interested in see how everyone's growing overall. Uh, so, Dragowski's still only gone up by one. Uh, but he's still young, he's only 21 into, so he's still got a good chance to grow. Uh, Carson's starting to drop, Kelly Ruse has dropped, but hopefully we're going to sell him. Bogle's gone up by three, Nelson's gone up by one, uh, Tamori's gone up by three, Keo's dropped by one, Pierce hasn't changed, Malone hasn't changed, uh, Lozart hasn't changed, Olsen's dropped by one, but I'm sure I've sold Olsen. Forsyth hasn't changed, McDonald hasn't changed, George Thorne hasn't changed, Evans hasn't changed. Ledley's dropped, Huddleston's dropped, Godfrey's gone up by one, which is good. Thomas hasn't changed, neither has Gordon, Blackman, Alberich has gone up by one, and I don't think I've used him yet, have I? Unless he's in the, no, he's not in the youth squad, is he? He's in, I think I've signed him. Horn's gone up by one, Hayes has gone up by two, which is good. Uh, Bird's gone up, oh, I've got a four star, four star, four star there. Bear's gone up by one. Maya's gone up by one. Uh, Miranda hasn't grown. Bryson's gone down by one. Butterfield hasn't grown. McCarran's not gone up yet. Uh, Johnson's gone down by one. Elsnick and Guy haven't grown. Junior's gone up by one. Holmes hasn't grown. Mount's gone up by one. Chong's gone up by two. Wilson's gone up by one. Uh, Zoom's not grown. Bennett's gone up by four. So he's on 70 now, finally. Nuge has gone down by two, Waggon hasn't grown, Martin hasn't grown, and Marriott and Lawrence have gone up by one. Okay, that's interesting. Um, who's our top goal scorer? Actually, it would have been easier just to do it this way. No, okay, so I have to go all the way to the top. That's fine. Okay, so Marriott and then Zoom with five and four goals. And then three goals, three goals, two goals. Uh, he's got the most assists as well. That's interesting. I want to see if... Um, was it Dragowski or... Okay, no, it's not counting as a Dragowski assist and that other goal isn't. Okay, that's fine. Scott Carson, Dragowski, no, okay. But three clean sheets, three clean sheets, that's good. Right. 
Anyway, guys, I am going to end this episode here because I feel not... Um, I don't know what's the word. Not miserable. Um, I just feel like I've done enough with that loss. I don't think this, it's worth me playing this game. I'm going to have a bit of a break from FIFA, I think. So I've got a few episodes to edit now. Um, I've got like five weeks for, for videos to edit now. But I think I'm rather than upload these weekly, I, I, I might try and catch up to upload them like a day or two apart just so it's uploaded it might motivate me to record uh some more episodes then after a while so uh player of the match i don't know who i'm gonna give it to in this episode just yet i'm gonna have a look uh while i edit and decide i'm thinking richard keogh or josh mccarran for their either keogh for his defending because he, he did impress me in that one game that he played or um, McCarran for his goal. I'm not 100% sure, but I'll see when I edit if there's anyone else that interests me. Um, if I do upload these within the next few days, if you want to leave me some people to look for, if you guys want to be like some scouts, do some scouting for me, that's what I wanted to say. And let me know some players to have a look at. If you give me like some of the details, like ideally, I want a striker for this squad um probably a defender and i'm thinking a left back as well so if you guys want to do some scouts for that squad and for this squad i'm thinking either a left back or a cdm so two left backs a defender a cdm and a striker if anyone wants to do any scouting for me don't let me know what they have an overall potential off i want to figure that i want to watch them grow but if you let me know what the ratings are at the moment where you're looking at them and who you're looking at and whatnot please do feel free to leave something in the comments and i'll make sure to have a look for them um but thank you very much for watching guys i do hope you have enjoyed this episode and i'll see you all in the next one Take care. Bye.